Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Ethan or Dr. Zyme here and welcome to a quick little modern house tutorial. This is something I came up with and if y'all do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and a comment and subscribe down below. And without anything else being said, let's hop right into it. Alrighty everybody, and to start what we're going to have to have in your inventory, some quartz, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, stripped dark oak logs, spruce planks, spruce stairs, spruce slabs, spruce fence posts and some glass panes or what you're going to start out with is some of the stripped logs you're going to have one here then one two three four and on the fifth one here have another one and you're going to go back by ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten on the tenth one on the tenth one place one here and go this way twelve one two three four five six seven ten 12, put one there, and 9 forward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And here you're going to want to put some quartz. Now once again, you're going to want to come 4 forward, 1, 2, 3, 4, put one there, come to the right 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, here, and then we're going to go ahead and start working on our little staircase, as you can see out front there. I come over, and I'm just make a little staircase formation. Come across the top, build that up, across the top here, build that up, and fill in the inside here with the stone brick. Now that you've got that done, we're going to go ahead and start making our staircase here in the front. Put two stairs, two stairs, going to even out. Build it in just like that, and that's all you need. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some fence posts and build our little fence all the way around like we had it. And you're going to come here and put a block there. Come up oh, and get these other blocks in here and put a block there as well. A fence post, sorry. Now you're going to come over here in the middle and stack up your quartz and come across. Also come down with it like that and bring these logs up to this point. See the flooring here? All your logs are going to come up to that point and then go up one, two, third, and then the roofing one there. So come up four once you get to the level, so seven in total. Now it's going to quickly happen as we are going to fill in this back portion exactly as we had it earlier on these sides, and we're going to fill in our floor with stone bricks as well. We're also going to start extending it this way, just to there for now. So now what's going to happen is we're going to come back over here and fix this mistake here. We're going to take out this quartz, and it's supposed to be spruce instead. That's my mistake. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to go four over from the floor. One, two, three, four. And on the fourth one, we're going to build up from the floor like that. And then... From here on over, it is planks. And then on the back side and that side, it's quartz. And then you're going to fill in, the, once you're done the outside, you're going to fill in the middle bit with spruce planks. Now that you have your floor filled in, what you're going to want to do is come over to the side post and come out by three. And go ahead and connect it there in the bottom. Then come all the way across until you get back here to where you're even with this back post. And it's just a staircase down, although it's all going to be filled in, so it doesn't really matter. And that's going to fill in as well. And then you fill in all this with the quartz as well. And then on top of it go some spruce fences. Now I went ahead and set it to daytime so that y'all could see easier, but we're going to go ahead and fill in our walls now. What we're going to do is we're going to come up here, a two block wide and two high doorway right there. And we are going to come over and up and leave a two gap window here. Come on the back side, if I can get over the fence post. We're going to fill in this entire wall right here. Doo -doo -doo. The 
back wall. We are going to come over two and up. Oh, messed it up a little bit. And it's going to be two by three window just like that. And fill in the rest and come all the way across with it. And then right here, we are going to have a single door in the corner. So we're going to come up two, three and cover it in the top. Just double check that on accident. This is supposed to be one higher like that. So it's supposed to be open topped. Now we're going to go ahead and start filling in our windows. So these two and then fill in this big old window here. And fill in this window. And this side. Now it comes time for the roof. So what we're going to do is take our spruce stairs here and come between all the logs and put stairs going all the way around. Not there, not on the outside, it's just in the middle of them. All the way across them. Now this one's a little bit tricky, just place it in the side there. That just makes it look better. And now we're going to take our slabs and come out by one and make sure not to connect the corner here. Go all the way around the building. Now while we're on our slab, we're going to go ahead and put it a little windowsill here. Sorry guys, I keep on messing up. This needs to be quartz. Quick little fix. Now while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and start making our pool. So we're going to come six out from this post right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to come down the side all in single file, all the way to you line up the back part here. And then we're going to come in here and fill in all of this. Now we get to dig out this little middle portion and we're going to end up going three down. Now that your pool is cleared out, what's going to happen is we're going to replace the floor all down here with quartz, just like this. You're going to make sure to extend this and then replace the walls with stone brick. Now that you have your pool dug out, we're going to go ahead and start working on the basement. So what that requires for us to do is to fill all of this in stone brick and make a stone brick wall here all the way across make a stone brick wall here as well coming all the way back to underneath the wooden planks here I'm gonna come over and make sure it's five wide on the inside that's four five at the wall corner here and come all the way back down with it and we're also going to drop it in one Place the walls of stone brick. And replace the floor with spruce planks. Now that your basement's done, we're going to go ahead and start working on our back section. So come here to the end of the staircase formation that we had earlier on the handrail. Come out to your stone bricks. Come all the way across. Once you get to here, what you're going to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now once you get to one beyond this post, you're going to come all the way out to here and go one, two, three, four. Five, six, and on the sixth one here, stop, bring it all the way to the wall, and leave a one block space right there. And all of this area right in here, and all of that is getting turned into stone brick. Now it's going to happen to finish off the last of these materials on our inventory. You're going to go ahead and fill in your roof with slabs. And once you've done that, we are going to come inside and start here at the window. It's going to be a two wide staircase coming down. Stairs are going to start here. Place. 
and then come on down the way like this. This is all going to be filled in. And then stairs are also going to come out here, one, two, and then if you want to, you can put a stair here like this. I personally like to do it. Now on the inside, if you really wish to, you can put upside down stairs going all the way around. I personally like it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then you're going to come out here and you're going to line yourself up with the one right next to this post and come all the way back to the end of the stone brick and build it up three high and then same on this corner block. Now unfortunately guys I am recording this part after the fact of after I recorded this video that's why this entire interior is finished. My recording actually glitched out for this little middle part here so I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I came in here put a crafting table right here or I'll show you where I put the bed first. The bed is in line with the last pane on the window. The crafting table is two over from it. Downstairs I put furnaces on this wall, barrels on this wall, with the sole lantern here in this corner, this corner, and this corner. Then once we come on up, come outside and I put a lantern on this corner, right in front of the post, this corner, right in front of the post, this corner, and this corner. Now for the leaves, what I've done here is I have dug down two like this and put a lantern and then two leaves tall coming right up and then over here on this side you're gonna find the post one over next one over so in the middle of the glass panes you're gonna build it up a second layer here for a little bit more coverage I'm also being a major idiot I did all of this too so what you're gonna want to do here is I don't know if you guys have seen this before but you're gonna take campfires you're gonna place them and make sure the logs are running into the house the top ones are and then you're gonna take a little bit of a water bucket put it on top take another bucket suck it up and it gives you a little thing like that and then down here this was all filled in and layered up in the very middle we came down to and put two right here also missing two leaves like that and then you put stairs so three 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 and then four just like that and that should be everything now that we're done with all that, in your inventory you're going to need more stone bricks, stone brick stairs, redstone lamps, daylight detectors, quartz stairs, armor stands, spruce doors, flower pots with the corn flower and a blue orchard, orchid, sorry, and then a full set of diamond armor. Uh, like I said, I'm just going for the blue theme because I think it matches the best. But to start out, let's go ahead and fix the back. You're going to fill in all these stairs all the way around. Stairs wouldn't flip upside down on me. And these ones are going to become straight up bricks, and so is this middle inside layer. And there's your little sit-in fireplace. Now you're going to fill in this with quartz stairs. And come up, and there's that. Now you're going to put your spruce doors down on the front door, on the back like that. And then we can come outside and we can go ahead and use our flowers here. The two flower pots outside the window, with the corn flower in the front one and the blue orchid in the back one. So now what we're going to do is work on our lighting. So you need your redstone lamps, you're going to come over here in the corner above the door, put one there, corner that where it's on the stairs. Same with this one, and then for this one, you line yourselves up with that lamp and this lamp and look straight up and put it in there. Now, if you'd also like, you can put one in the middle. That's going to be too wide. And put it just like that. Now, we're going to go up on the roof and put daylight sensors on top of all these and right click them to where they turn blue and become nighttime sensors. Then you come down and you put your armor stand in the corner here. Pull out your, not put it on, you pull out your armor. Put it on your guy and then you should be all good. 
now whenever it becomes nighttime. Let's see. The lights turn on inside of here and everything should be lit up. But there we go guys, there's your 100% complete survival friendly housing that benefits you in every single way possible. Now, if you guys did enjoy today's little building tutorial, do make sure to drop a like, as I said earlier, comment and subscribe. It means the world to me. This has been your boy, Dr. Zyman. I'll catch all of y'all later. Peace.